you're all well. So today we're going to do a very quick troubleshoot on the QR codes. And I know I said I wasn't going to do any more, but a few people have had some issues and there seems to be kind of three root problems. So we're just going to go through those very quickly. So the first one is the audio wave. So I do need to stress that you do not need to use the audio wave with these. They're just for decoration. You can put whatever you want. It's the QR code that actually plays the audio. Now, I've done two videos in which you see me manipulate the audio wave. The first one is cleaning it up in Inkscape. And then the second one is when we did the HTV QR code video, I showed you how you can manipulate it in design space. Now, a lovely lady, and I must apologize, I cannot remember who it was. I interact so much. I'm in so many groups. I post so many things. I comment on so many posts. And she came up with this fantastic idea, and I cannot remember her name. So I really, really must apologize. But she came up with this great idea of actually screenshotting the audio wave in the memo app. So if you go onto your phone and you go into your memo app, shown on the first picture here, and you then click on edit, it will take you to the next screen. If you then click on this small blue square in the corner underneath our audio wave, you can then see that you get single lines of audio wave. Now, if you screenshot this and you then crop it down and you send it to your Google Drive, you're then able to bring the picture into design space on your laptop. And this then makes it slightly cleaner cuts because it's individual lines. It just seems to make it a nice, even cut. So the next problem that people seem to be having is actually getting their audio memo into their Google Drive. Now, I know that some people have been emailing it to themselves, and this seems to be causing some interruption. I don't know why. So if you actually go to the App Store, you can download the Google Drive app. And as I've said before, I definitely recommend using the Google Drive. It's what's worked for me. But there are other sharing apps out there. They're worth having a play with. Whatever works for you is going to be what works for you. But this is how it's worked for me. And I find I've not had any problems at all. So you'll see that down here there is a little blue square and it's got an arrow coming out the top of it. You need to click on that. It will then give you options of where you can send the audio file. And if you scroll along and you have downloaded the Google Drive app, you'll see it says copy to drive. And you'll be able to send the audio file straight to your Google Drive. And this seems to eliminate the problems. Directly sending it to the Google Drive seems to make life a lot easier. So I do recommend being able to do this. It will then ask you if you want to save the new recording to your Google Drive and you can then click save and you'll then be able to access the file in the Google Drive and you can then follow the original tutorial on creating the QR codes. And as I say, this just seems to eliminate a few issues that people so are having. So another issue that seems to be really random, there's no kind of rhyme or reason to it, is actually with the QR code generator. Now there are other QR code generators out there. I personally have not tried them. So you do kind of need to approach them with caution. I don't know what they're going to be like. And with everything on the internet, you do kind of need to be aware of viruses and anything like that. But as I say, I've not had any issues with this QR code generator, but I know that other people have. And the issue seems to be when it comes to shortening the code. Over the weekend, the website has decided that it doesn't like this with certain audio files. And as I say, it does seem to be really random. Now, you don't need to shorten the code, 
But when you don't shorten the code, you do end up with a lot more detail within the code. So obviously, if you're weeding it, you are going to have to be super, super vigilant about all the small squares that are within it. Now, I just couldn't work out what was going on because I wasn't having the issue. And one of our fantastic ladies in our group, Cricket Craft Creators, Hayley, she messaged me to say that she thought that she had solved the problem. And it looks like she has. And I am so, so grateful to her for solving this problem because I wasn't having the problem. So it was really difficult for me to work out what was happening. And the only advice I was able to give people was, well, you don't actually need to shorten the code. But of course, who wants to spend hours weeding out small dots? I mean, nobody. So we're in the QR code generator and you'll see up here it says sign in. So you're going to sign in using your Google account. So whichever Google account you're using for your Google Drive where your audio file is, you're going to sign in using that account. So once you've signed in, you're going to go to my codes and you'll then see this dynamic code circle here so you're going to click on that you're then going to go to url and you can then paste in your url code so you'll see that it comes up and there's no option to shorten the url code that's because it's already shortened so we've completely missed that step so for those of you that were coming up with the error message when you were trying to shorten this actually eliminates that. So there theoretically should be no more problems. You're then going to go ahead and save and do exactly the same steps that we did in the original video. We've only changed the, the way that we make the code slightly. Now, Hayley has tried this and I know a few other people have tried this and I got Laura to check it last night because she was having the same issues. And they are all saying that this is working perfectly. Now, as always, I do recommend at this point you scan the code just to make sure that it is working correctly. But hopefully this way eliminates the shorter URL issue that people were having over the weekend. And again, I cannot thank Hayley enough. I'm not quite sure how she figured it out, but she figured it out and she has cracked it. So she said that I can share this with you all today because I know a few of you were having problems. So just a big, big thank you to Hayley for kind of solving this problem. So I just want to do a very quick update on this method. I have had one and only one message to say that after 14 days, this method requires a payment to be able to use the link. Now, I myself have not experienced this and I have gone through this morning and I've spoken to several people that have used this method and they are all still saying that this method is still working, they've had it for longer than 14 days and they have not been asked to pay. But obviously, I just want to let you know that this could be a possibility. I have only had the one report. I would have expected by now that more people would have come forward and informed me of this. And I have obviously checked this. But I do just want to say that there is a possibility that this could happen. And there is another way in which you can shorten your link without actually using the QR code generator. So once you've got your audio file and you've sent it to your Google Drive and you've made sure that it's shareable to anyone that has the link, you are then able to shorten the link using URL shortener websites. So one of the ones that I would use is tinyurl.com and I would also use bit.ly.com as well. Now my go-to has always been the Google URL shortener. However, they are changing it slightly in the you can only now do it if you have a Google account and from what I understand 
that is only going to be for the next year and then they are getting rid of it so I would not advise using the Google URL shortener because obviously once that's deleted you won't be able to listen to the audio file anymore you do need to have that link up forever in order to be able to use it so I wouldn't recommend using the Google URL shortener but tinyurl.com or the bit.ly one they'll work absolutely fine once you've shortened the link you can then paste it into the QR creator and you can do it that way and that's just another way of being able to do it so fingers crossed those of you that have been having issues with the creating the QR codes these kind of tips will now be able to help you as I say, you do need to kind of follow the original tutorial still, but these are just some hints and tips that will hopefully, if you do run into some issues, these will answer those questions and they'll allow you to then create these codes and of course, to create the audio wave.